Wow. So I watched this new show called Blue Therapy by Trend Central and it was entertaining. Um, I do watch a few of their content, but this series has really hit me in a different way. I don't want to be too abrasive with my terminology, but I would say it's shocking, really. Um, what shocks me the most is the reaction responses, the comments about the first two episodes of this series. So at this point, after episode two, I felt it necessary to kind of share a different point of view. What I do notice more is that a lot of women don't understand what pursuing wealthy, high earning guys who are technically hard working hours on upon hours investing into their business and you decide you know i'm gonna pay attention to him and start dating and then even before the fiance marriage stage you're already making wifey demands and it shocked me is there something wrong in our society today that you pick and choose what you bring to the table but then you decide to control how he presents himself and then the metrics of what men and women prioritize on and how they show affection and attention and love you demand attention and time when he uses it for his marketing this his work this his career you pursue the type of guy who doesn't work a regular nine to five who relies on social media advertisement networking with wealthier clients or fame just fame essentially right and that's what generates your income and that's what he does to provide for you you're not even wifey yet but he's buying you a gucci bag you're living in his house and you're starting to control how he behaves how he acts and let me just quickly break it down yeah first and foremost i'm going to point out the two chioma and paul now i knew chioma already from the backchack series and personally it's not the type of girl i would approach obviously it doesn't mean that but she's just not my type in general simply based on her personality she's a pretty girl but i do not get attracted to women who tend to be controlling you know in a way like she comes off very strong-headed that's not for me maybe it's for some guys but majority of guys i know are not into girls like that so whatever that represents to anyone who maybe is a support of trauma that's already a a red flag for me just the character alone so maybe it matches him so what i found very funny was that the comments were so driven to sort of uh, attack the guy's mindset or behavior or even the language he uses but you don't realize that that's what he mirrors she met her match she was attracted to his behavior the way he responds the way he communicates and now everyone in the comment section is expecting him to be what more submissive than her they're playing tug of war with words you can see it they are matching energies and you're pointing out paul as this guy he's aggressive he's arrogant no that's who she matches with that's how she presents herself as intimidating or you know rah 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 that's who she matches with that's what she wants at the end of episode two, you see her begging him to stay because that's what she wants. Now, is that what he wants? Maybe he's reaching up an epiphany that am I wasting my time with this girl that I've been with for three years and she doesn't recognize the position I'm in, in my workplace, in, in, in my business, the image I want to present, the brand. The term brand is very important. A lot of people are looking over it and focus on what he says, the emotion he, he he drives. He's too arrogant. He's too this. That's who she wants. So instead of 
listening to the message you're not tolerating what she accepted in her life she's not leaving him but he would definitely leave her because if he can't handle or hack the controlling agenda she's trying to portray bringing him into this show this type of stuff is should be more private because what these two girls are doing is ex well Chioma who brought him in is exposing them to the poachers to the other potential profiles the women who want a guy it's pretty hard to find a guy who's a high earner who's driven in london of that status right in their mid or late 20s already making bread spending money on their girl like that girls are chasing for that and you expose your relationship on live chioma that guy's gonna move on fast You've just exposed, you've embarrassed him in a sense, that's what he calls it. But a lot of people are ignoring the long-term effects that this could cause. This is all for clout. In her head, this is all for clout. I'll leave Choma and Paul for another time. Let's jump into Jamal and Deborah's situation, yeah? Again, another guy who's trying to be a high earner, an entrepreneur, he's obviously making good dough right he might be getting there just by the way he quote-unquote provides right everyone agrees she doesn't know what she's saying she doesn't she's seen that this is her first relationship and she's saying how she wants to be treated like a princess you're not even wifey yet you're talking about how your dad treats you does he pay for every what gucci bag for this that that that's a husband treating his wife you're not even locked down yet watch your mouth and she will realize too late in fact i hope by god's grace jamal leaves her too this is an embarrassment i didn't know it was this bad and it won't convince me it was worse it was just the responses underneath the video on twitter people don't realize relationships women don't realize what a relationship requires love and attention i I knew the morris code all behind all of that with you wishy-washy waffle there's a lot of bullshit being said and it's clear to see that things won't change and what's best for everyone if, if those two guys leave them because i know those girls aren't leaving maybe the deborah might leave jamal thinking that she can get better but people know how hard it is out here in what london city to find two black guys who are eye earning and they're driven there are hyenas out here they're gonna take your man because you're not serious you're focused on how he communicates you're not even communicating to him you're not cooperating and you expect all of that it's done good luck well done guys you know what? i might follow up with more on this but i just wanted to let this one out let's see how this goes yeah episode one and two is gone i'm guessing there's one or two more but man this surprised me this is how the uk is moving